Welcome to episode 11 of the Everton T Tycoon save. Um, currently in season 1. We left the last episode with us winning 5-2 against Swansea away. We had goals from Elanini who scored 2, Adosi scored 2 and Kani Chuk Wuen Wu Mecca scored. So yeah, and we're currently... Where are we? Right, so 28 games played, 19 wins. Six draws, three losses, and um, we got 63 points, so we're 11 points clear at the moment. Since you last saw us, I've skipped a little bit ahead for the next game. Um, Norton Coffee is out for a few weeks, which is really annoying. Um, we sold Ellis Sims, who's gone to play in Poland. He's a Polish international, so hopefully that'll work out well for him. We've got 20% profit on the the next transfer that goes through for him. So if he does well in Poland and gets signed up for a big team, he might 20% profit, so that'll work out well. And um, we've gone for David Maria from Sporting Lisbon. Pretty good little player there. Um, go through these quickly. We've had an offer from Rangers to loan in Calvina. Avelina, sorry. Uh, Okay, and then we've uh, this player that we our DOF signed, and we're just going to send him out on loan. He's not good enough. I, it slipped through the cracks. I would have cancelled it if I'd realised. It is what it is. Uh, Idea is still at the club, annoyingly. So uh, we'll just try and get rid of him now, hopefully. I uh, will do this and this. That done. And. And Sheffield United next. See if there's anything else worth telling you about before we crack on. Elliot Anderson's been recalled by Newcastle because we weren't playing him in the role that, that they wanted him to be. And we've signed Medina. He's managed to come in. Um, so we've signed him. Yeah, so this is the team versus Sheffield United. We've got Patterson in goal, Goffrey, Porteous, and Mika Marmol in defence. Laird. Um, yeah, he's playing in his favourite role. No, he's not. Got Alan there as well in his familiar role. A wing back defence, so we'll do that. Um, Elanini and Chikani in midfield, Lavumbo and Adosi on the left and the right, and then Marshall. Let's see what we can do here in this game. Hope everyone's having a nice relaxing Sunday. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, nothing so far. There we go. We've had a player foul by the looks of it. Martial was fouled, I think. Bernini, who scored a free kick in the last game. Let's see if he can repeat this in this game. Bernini. Oh, tested the keeper, but the keeper saved it. Lavombo, the corner. Floats it in. Goalkeeper easily saves it. Waits for his players to go out. End of that hold up. We've got another one straight away. Callum was a fail of a pass there. We get it back, we do. Porteous. Ooh, Carney there nearly with a goal. All right, Lubumbo again. Let's, let's hope he does a better corner this time than the last one. Okay. Defended wisely by them. Right, three shots uh, on goal, four shots on goal, three on target. Quiet first half, really, to be honest. Hoping we'd score already, but we're not. But uh, in a minute, we'll fucking uh, bruise the players. Yeah, and I were a pretty decent team themselves. Should get promoted back to the Premiership with the squad they've got this year. Probably a team like Sheffield United is a. Um, uh, 
don't have the funds to really go out and be better than a yo-yo team from the Premiership to the Championship and basically in the new West Brom, aren't they? Right, McCallum. Lovely little pass to Lumbumbo, who scores his seventh goal of the season. Lovely little goal there by him. They've got a free kick. Will they come back already? Luckily not. Good. Great tackle by Godfrey. Sorry, right, just not on camera there. Right. Uh, Sheffield United in possession. Got it back though. We lose it. That was a terrible defensive error. Ivan Cordova, who used to play for West in Spain, didn't he? Oh, no, no. Different one I'm thinking of. Uh, athletic, former athletic Bilbao striker. Right, hopefully the second half we can get the lead back, land a bit more. Got a corner, the bumbo. Floats it in. Great header by Godfrey. Rises to the occasion. Scores a goal only a captain can do. Captain Godfrey. Right, Adosi's knackered, so we'll take him off and we'll put on... On Sato, so Sato makes his debut. Just see if he's playing in this role. He is, that's good. See what he can do. Hopefully, he can come on and impress. Not there. Who else can we need so far? Garner in for him. We really need to get another goal, I think. Another goal, we'll be happy with that. Oh, good tackle there by Lubumbo. Laird, Lubumbo, Lubumbo. Oh, Martial, you had time, you had time. Right, Marshall, you are getting the telling off for that. Oh, you up, young man. That young man's 29. 29. 29. Young man. Well, he's younger than me. Technically, I'm right in what I'm saying. Right. Highlight now. There, goal kick. Can we get this ball off him? We can. Scare him. We get the ball. Bumbo, who's been absolutely amazing this game. Oh, that was that a lovely little goal there if you got that in. Callum, Gabriel Sara, I think he's making his debut for us. See? Well, for us anyway. Been doing well at Norwich, signed up in January. Marshall not having the best of games in this one. I mean, he's got a few minutes if he scores, it'll get his rating up. I don't think he will. See? We won 2 1. That's the important thing. Marshall doesn't need to score every game. And have the odd game where he's not playing well. 12 points clear. Zara makes his debut. Right then, we'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back. And. Um... We, where we left off just a second ago, we won beat Sheffield United 2-1. Um, Sarah made his debut. Lovumbo plays really well in that game. Um, Hudson goes out on loan to Doncaster. We've we we got we managed to get Zito Lovumbo to sign a new contract with a 62 million release clause that help us protect the, our interests with him. He's done really well since he's come into the club. And we have got Ipswich Town in the next round of the FA Cup next. We got recommended him, Josh Doy. So because Tymon wanted to leave, I decided to um, try and sell Tymon and replace him with Doy, who I think is an upgrade. 
So hopefully, um, well, so I'm half Scottish, so it's nice to have a fellow, another fellow Scotsman in the Everton team. Yeah, to get twenty five thousand four hundred tickets are expected to be sold. Um, I don't know if there's anything else significant. We've had some more offers for IDEA, so we've accepted them. And that's it. So we'll go to the team selection now. So again, Sip Switch, Hatson in goal, Top Reporters and Malmo in defence. Nandez is right back, who I think is coming back to centre. So we'll just swap them to defence. McCallum, I think he's the same. One of them. And then we've got Garner, who is a Korea, so we'll check that. Elni is a Lini, sorry, is that one there? Yep, that's there. The rest of the other three, usual three there up front, will be all right. Let's see how we get on. Um, while we're waiting for something to happen in the game, I just want to say thanks again to people subscribing to me and watching the the series so far really appreciate it thank you to people that are following me on twitch as well i am on twitter as well lutra fm so feel free to have a look on there I, I don't post much but i usually just post when i'm basically going to be streaming next so at least it gives you uh, an indication of uh, when i'm going to be streaming hopefully next week i'll be streaming on twitch tuesday wednesday thursday and friday two uh, every day at two o'clock onwards sometimes it's slightly late but it just that usually means it's because Something's happened to my mic or something. Uh, anybody who produces content will feel my pain. Right, Elenini drives it forward, blasts it over. Yeah, thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. Quiet first half with one highlight so far. Try encouraging the players to see if that'll work. I mean, we've been all over in 12 shots. We've had three on target. Come on, let's get this ball off them. Put the pressure on them. They make a mistake. We can get the ball off them. Let's get the ball off them. There we go. Elanini with some great defensive play there, getting the ball. Keeping possession now. Porteous to Garner. Garner back to Elanini, back to Porteous. Cross to Goffrey. Goffrey looks up, gives it to Lavumbo. Lavumbo now who drives it forward. Pass it in the centre to Garner. Garner loses the ball, unfortunately. To show. Oh, we get it back though. Uh, Adosi, Mormo. There we go. Beautiful little passing exchanges going on here. Oh, what a goal. What a lovely little team goal that was. Beautiful little passing. And then a great cross by Adosi. And Martial scores again. Can't stop scoring this season. He's been great. Um, 17 goals in 20, 18 goals in 23 games now. Right, we've got a few players injured. Not injured, sorry, knackered. I always say injured. You know what I mean. Right, Ravumbo, knackered. Boris Campbell, you're coming on. Callum, McCallum, knackered. Can't find anyone to put on for you. Uh, hold on. Give me a minute. Let me think, let me think, let me think. What else can we take? We can't really. Um, this is annoying. Ah, Malmo, you'll have to go there. Are you? That's that, that's sorted. Right then. I need to be a solution somewhere. I have to do what they call some FM maths. Oh, lovely free kick by Garner. Uh, we're still 1 0. Tips which have uh, barely. Not going in this game. We've only had one shot. Hopefully, well, hopefully we won't let them. Uh... Right, okay. Elanini. Put you on instead. 
Arnie. Tato with the ball. Does it to Awu. Awu to Malma. Elanini to Campbell with the shot. Hey, what? When when uh, when called upon, Tyrese Campbell can't off score. He'd probably be de he'd definitely be starting strike if we didn't have Marshall for the season. In an alternative world, it'd be nice to see how Tyrese Campbell would do as a as a as our main striker. Maybe he would get thirty goals a season. Oh, what a goal by Goffrey! That was a great shot, Captain Goffrey. We're three 0 up. Uh, Marshall. We can't put any more play take any more players off, so just see this game out now. And that's the end of that. 3-0 in the FA Cup. We'll uh we'll do the FA Cup next FA Cup round draw in a minute. Live on here. On my Twitch stream yesterday. My friend Josh um, joined in the Twitch chat with me, and he has similar problems to me. He gets bored of the same doing saves on Football Manager after a while. So I got this, um, I nicked it, this idea from Dr. Benji, by the way. So it's not an original idea, but basically, I, I told him to give me as many net teams as possible he'd be interested in managing. And then we did this spin the wheel thing, and we gradually eliminated every team until the last one was there. And he's now going to be managing Strasbourg in France. Whether he'll go through with it, whether he'll stick with it, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, but yeah, he's he's worse than me. He gets really bored very quickly. And if he's watching this, by the way, Josh, I'm not, I'm not being any offence by it, but you'll be the first to admit that. Um, no, Josh has been a really good, really good at supporting me on this adventure I'm in. I really appreciate him if he is if he is watching this. Right, get this FA Cup draw done, and then we'll get to the next part of the episode. Uh, FA Cup draw next, coming up anytime soon. We'll accept that for time and get him off the books. We'll raise you, Marmo. Marmo. Um, yeah, don't we have the FA Cup draw yet? No, we can't by the looks of it. Oh. Come on. Raise a dosi. You watch, because I'm on autopilot now. I won't think, and I'll just automatically draw the FA Cup without thinking, because that's what I usually do. But for you lot, I thought I'd do it live so we can watch it as we go along. Um, Bear's not happy, but hopefully we've calmed him down. No office of Chaplin, so we'll try again. And we'll try some of the wages that will hopefully help. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, FA Cups. So who's doing it? Vincent Company is hosting it. Hello, Mr. Company. We're set to get underway the draw for the Emirates FA Cup fifth round. I'm your host, Vincent Company. Welcome along. Well, thank you, Mr. Company. I appreciate that. We'll do that. Go start draw. Blackburn are playing sometime today, please. Brighton. I wish there was a faster speed than this one, but this is the fastest speed. Um, Chelsea are playing. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do a drum roll. Everton, so we're playing. Right, there's no need to do the rest of it. We'll just go advance now. We'll just do this. Advance to end. We are playing Chelsea away next game, which will be a nice little earner for us financially as well. Uh, that is the 26th of February, which we'll be cover at some point in the episode. Okay, so Zumbo and McCallum um, in the week. Right then, we'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode.
we're back now, part three. Um, DiMaggio is gone to Queen's Park for a bit. He's gone on loan to get some experience. Um, Avelina, unfortunately, his work permit. Um, work permit application rejected, but I think they're appealing it. Yep. Time to keep Costello. He doesn't want to play. He wants to play as a complete wing back, but we're not playing. He's not playing enough anyway, so I've tried to get rid of him, but had no offers yet. I'm going to try again. We'll try and give some of his wages off. Hopefully that'll help. No, Chaplin's. We'll try and try and send Chaplin out on loan. Do that will help. We'll knock that down to three million. New scout. Rio Simic. A decent Croatian scout. We've got another physio. Gavio Gavio. 20 in physio, so very good. And he's pretty good, actually, to be honest, isn't he? He's good. Oh, we can't sign him. It's a shame. So he has gone to AZ with his contract. Should have We should have jumped on him quicker. Well, we've got him on the short list, so if he works out at AZ, we'll bring him in. Lena has had his application successful. He's now gone. Rangers on loan. Only a loan deal, no fee involved. We've got another scout in. A Dutch scout called Henry de Rijk. Rijk, Rijk sorry. 18 in potential. Josh, Josh Tyman has left. He's gone to Preston. Hopefully, with Josh Doy, luckily, good Tyman. He's come in as his replacement. I think he's obviously an improvement. Uh, Adam Ide. On to St. Mirren. So we'll get something for him, better than nothing. Um, we get optional future fee 1.9. Um, we get 3.7 million over two installments of 12 months. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so we didn't get Maria in the end. Going for this player here. You all right? for this player here as well not good enough i don't think i think it got cancelled though luckily all right uh we're going for him as well they don't he's not good enough however can we cancel this yeah, that one's been cancelled as well so yeah so we we went we were too late in getting him and during uh hopefully we can bring him in at some point Right, that's the end of the transfer window, the looks of it. So uh, let's just do a quick recap of the transfer window, the January transfer window. We'll just cash this out first. Yes, that's done. Um, right, so let's just do a quick recap here. Yeah. So here's who we signed in January. We signed Emmanuel Ayou, Vincent Burlet, Amari Folsom, Asseline Unani, Unari, sorry. Um, Nathan Nandez, I think I think people just watch this to watch me butcher uh, butcher players' names. I think Gabriel Sara, he was probably our big big signing in January. Oki Sato, Luca Di Maggio, Marcel Retnik, Juan Musso, Leonardo Martins, and Christian Medina. And then players out, we Josh Major, Dukeri, Lewis Gibson. Deli Ali went on loan. Is Deli Ali doing okay? I know he got sent off in his first game. Um, he's played a few games. He's done okay, I suppose. Deli Ali is actually doing pretty well for me in the Carabao Cup on my Newcastle Twitch save when he plays. So, yeah. Um, in a few of us. I mean, let's just go through significant ones. Tommy Conway's gone. Obviously sent a lot of players out on loan. So Josh Tymon and uh, Adam Ede has gone on loan with hopefully St. Uh, Mirren will hopefully sign him. Right, Ellis Sims has gone. We, I, I just think I just won the manager of the month.
Right, so Josh Joy will make his debut, I think. He's playing in his best role. I think he's a complete, a complete wing back. So there you go. We'll do that. Complete wing back support. Laird, is he in his wing back attack? Okay, so we just got to change this back a bit. Okay, um, they're in their familiar positions. Tara is a central midfielder attack. An old school uh, role, really, central midfielder. Come on. Uh, that's it. Yep. The rest is straightforward. Right then, Everton. Let's see if we can keep going with this. We're 12 points clear at the moment. Means we can lose three games and not worry about it, but I don't think we'll. Hopefully, we won't lose that many games for the rest of the season. We just want to make it nice and easy. We want to win the championship as quickly as possible, really. That burning possession, though. Get an early shot hits the post, I think. Yeah, hits the post and goes out. They've got another highlight started with them. I'm hoping this is not a bad omen. Blackburn, who we raided a lot of their players from, I think they've just, I think they've signed former Tottenham Hotspur and Southampton midfielder one Yama, the looks of it. Good signing for them, I think. I don't know how old he is now. I always thought he was pretty, I was pretty good at um, when he was at Spurs. And passing it around nicely. I'm not happy about this. Right, let's encourage our players. Yeah. Fully in possession at the moment here. We are not able to tackle them and they're going to score. I just had a feeling they were going to score. Jack Bale, who is very good. I'm going to give him a scout report. Yeah, Waniyama with the assist. How much did they sign him for? They signed him on a free transfer. Ah, that was a big mistake by us. Oh well. You live and you learn. Right, our, our corner. We bounce back straight away. No, we can't. Come on, lads. Honor to them. We can't. I, I feel like I jinxed us when I said that we we're, uh, we're not going to lose three games for the rest of the season. I think I really jinxed us then. It's almost if they've got a microphone in here and they can listen to me and then, and then they just do whatever. Do the opposite of what I say. If I say we're going to lose this now, we'll probably win. Yeah? Ah, uh, I thought we were going to score then. Right. Come on, let's keep pushing on. We've still got time. Not even the end of the first half yet. Vumbo drives it forward. He's going to single-handedly get us back in this game, I think. Porteous. Top three. Bernini to Laird. Laird. Oh, intercepted by Pickering there. Pickering, a player that we looked into buying. Still, we've got possession back though. Laird. A bad pass. But we just, oh, I thought we were going to score from there. Right. Zara, uh, Zara. Come on, lads. We're all over the place in this game. Right. Come on, lads. Boyd loses the ball. Oh no, did he get fouled? Is that a penalty? That's a good way to start the second half. Martial, will you score though? Please score, please score, please score, please score, please score. Yes, go on. Get in. Never in doubt. Martial, 19th goal of the season. Right, let's see what we can do. Um, I encourage Doi. Actually, it's I look Doi. That might that work out well for us, or it might end up getting him sent off somehow. Oh, that was a great goal by them. Okay, they're not. Uh, we're not doing well in this game. I'm not saying we're completely dead in the water yet, but 
We're getting close to it. Still 11 points clear though. So uh, Sheffield United and Birmingham and 12 points clear now. The teams behind us haven't, um, haven't been performing either. At Lovumbo, you're knackered and you're not doing well. And with you, Elanini, we're uh, Garner on. You're off, Dory. We can. We'll put McCallum on. Let's go around with this a bit. Tactics. Callum in his favourite role. Put in support this time, though. Uh, who else did we take? Garner, you're a Carrillo. Later, are you a winger? You are, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, let's go. Come on, courage, hope for the best here. That's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> if, we had a, if we had a bit more time, we might have been able to. Fair play to Blackburn, fair play. Giving us our fourth defeat of the season. Um, we've been we've paid one million as part of the James Garner deal. Boyd makes his debut. It wasn't a debut to remember, though, was it? Well, we've had a loan offer for him. So right, we'll be back for the um, next part of the episode. Right, we're back for the final part of the episode. Let's go through the news items before our next match. Um, praise Laird, praise. By the way, as well, just let me know if you prefer these where I go through the news box items or if you prefer it when I just edit these bits out and just, just play the matches and, and then maybe do like a small recap before every match just to really tell you what's happened in between the matches. Just let me know which you prefer. I'll go with the majority. I'm trying a few different ways because I'm new to all this, so hopefully um, people will like it and don't they'll tell me i would appreciate it. feedback's always good yeah right marshall's injured up for two weeks now injured with uh twisted knee that's a shame he was really doing well as well he he went a long way without getting injured Callum's not happy because basically doyd's replaced him Uh, Norman Cruffy is back from injury. Injury. So uh, this is the lineup for the game against Preston away. We've got the usual defence there. The U Laird as a wing back, Boyd as the left wing back. Uh, wing back sorry. And we've got uh, Carney who will play his familiar role as a Masala. Elanini as his familiar role as a ball winning midfielder, and then the usual three up. For, oh no, sorry. Um, Campbell's replacing Marshall there. Hopefully Campbell can carry on scoring because he's every time he's come on off the bench he's scored and I think he's got a pretty good goal scoring record for us. Oh, there you go. Um, maybe not. Um, no, actually overall seven in ten games, nine as a sub. Not too bad. It just looked a bit worse when I first looked at it. Right then, we've got the corner. Vumbo. To Carney, Lumbumbo, some uh, Joffrey now to Doig. Doig loses the ball. Doig, you are going to be back up, left back at this rate. You're, you were supposed to be an improvement on McCallum, but you're not doing very well at the moment. It was not good. But they're in possession now. Preston North End, Luca. Got Marmo now, driving it forward all the way. I think he's forgot he's a central defender. Tyrese Campbell scored from a lovely assist by Lavumbo. They always seem to link up very well, them two. Usually when Tyrese Campbell scores, it's usually because of Lavumbo with the assist. Lavumbo with a free kick hits the post. Unbelievable. One nil up so far. Like 31 games this season. We're really um, starting to 
Get our stride in this Everton save now. Oh, thank God for that. Right, Doi. The pass, at least it was a completed pass this time, Doi. Adosi. We are a bit too nervous, I think. We're not, not wanting to push it forward. We keep passing it back. Lovombo. Top three. Bad. Okay, I thought we were offside then. I thought we put the flag up. There we go. Goal. Lovombo. Get in. Lovombo with one goal and one assist so far. He's probably front runner for man of the match. Yeah, doing well so far. Eight goal and um, eight shots, sorry, four on target, two goals. Boy with the throw in. Cross is in. Goes to nobody. Back to Laird now. Laird with the goal. Laird, another front runner for man of the match, scored and also got an assist as well. He's trying to uh trying to take the Bumbo's crown as man of the match in this game. Lovumbo is slightly better average rating, so we'll probably get it unless Len steps it up again. But yeah, great performance by them too on that on that right side. Doig is actually playing well in this game. He's got 7.2 rating, so um, so we'll take that. I'm happy with that. Better than performance than it was last game. He's atrocious last game. Right, Elanini. Nice little pass. Dosi, we're linking up nicely with our players now, passing some lovely passes. Right, here we go. Yes, go on, Tyrese Campbell. See, we don't need Marshall, we've got Tyrese Campbell. Like I said, in an alternative universe, I think we'd still be doing just as well if we didn't sign Marshall. We had Tyrese Campbell. He's been proven to be a really good signer. He's he's uh, he's shown me that you know Martial isn't the only striker that can score goals at the club. That's what we like to see. We like to see players that want to push for the first team place. Now that's good. Right, Doi intercepts it, spins it around, gives it to Marmo. Marmo does the same. Do a little twisty round. No, oh, okay. Marmo, do you see now. Beautiful little pass to Doig. Doig, will he shoot? Will he assist? He does assist. Tyrese Campbell, there we go. Tyrese Campbell gets his hat trick. Get in. I need the really start of the second half as well. In theory, have I got any other strikers I could put on? Lesato. Oh, sorry. Portius just scored. I apologise. We've only got Sato, actually. So we'll leave it. We'll leave Campbell. Leaving there. 6 0. Absolutely fresh in Preston North End at the moment. And we get another one or two, though. We are 13 points clear at the top of the table at the moment. You never know. We might be champions of the championship by March. We'll see. If we keep going, we might. Still plenty of time left. And we've got. Cup competitions as well. We're still in the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, so you never know. We might win a cup. We might end up uh, having Europa League football in season two. Let's see, I've we'll played the big teams yet. Well, I don't think we've played any of the big teams. But it'll be a good test for the players though uh, against other competition. It will give us a give us an idea how we can do against the big boys. Preston going to get a consolation goal. They do. Noah Mabamba. Any good? In the scout report, always. Right, so Doig is coming off now. Alamon, Bumbumbo, you've done well. You're coming off. Yes, coming off. Dosi, you're coming off. Sato's coming off. So there we go. Be jubbly. Okay, Alanini, O'Hare. Beautiful little pass across to McCallum. McCallum now. Drives it forward. Beautiful pass to Carney. Carney with his fourth goal of the season. Great assist. Great contribution by McCallum. who's come on straight away. 
Boyd's got two assists as well in this game, so fair play. We're doing really well on both the right side on the, and the left side. The wing backs are doing really well. Anini, there. Can he do? He goes past with ease. Oh, we hit the post. Yeah, 7 1 up. I'm very happy with this result. A few minutes left. This is another highlight. Uh, yeah, great performance. We've got man of the match, would it tell me? I assume it's Campbell. It'll be Campbell. He's got the highest average rating. Maybe Lovumbo or Doyd. Anyway, right. Great performance there. Nice way to end the episode. Um, so, yeah, so hold on, let's just go through this. Praise Campbell. Great performance. Well done, my friend. Only three stars as well, which is annoying. I'm going to give him a new contract, though. He deserves a new contract. You deserve a new contract, young man. Right then. We'll call that a day. Um, thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the journey with Everton. And we'll see you for the next episode on Monday. Have a nice Sunday. Bye.